put that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Second and ten. Now it's Wilson. On the slam complete to Hopkins. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing is Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Back to throw, Wilson. Now they go screen, it's complete. And they're gonna mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle it for just a short gain. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only well, needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 44 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. Looking to throw, Wilson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen. And it turns into a nice positive play. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A great play there. With touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Jets have taken the lead. Well, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now, they were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five, start on the five, on the ten. They should be ready to go. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. A handoff as they run the counter play. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, 
They're actually utilizing what they call the stream, the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. And now here's a carry heading left. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. Takes this to the 45. Not much space there after the nice move. Up to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up on a second and six. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Steps away. And that's complete to the right side, it's Marshall. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 54 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Back to throw. Wilson going deep for Hopkins. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw. Wilson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. The Jets on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Back to throw. Wilson, DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. From the nine, second and five. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Looking to throw. Wilson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. 
A great read, and it's picked off. And the... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Yeah, quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Wilson escaping the pressure right. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll keep it on the ground. Conley. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On first down, Conley. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Wilson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And he'll bring it all the way back just a yard or two shy of midfield. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Wilson to throw. Catch is made by Hardman. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to almost certainly win the football game. McCann's kick up and good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. to me how this one ended down three I just thought you know no matter the situation you're in a spot where you can kick that field goal and go to overtime why not do it and this is where I think the analytics guys are going to continue to get more and more traction in the league you know we've talked about different people now saying I need a game management coach someone in the booth to take the emotion out of it did they lose track of where they were on the clock right did they lose track of where they were on the field was it, was it makeable for their kicker? All those things come into play here, and it turns out they don't get it done. So for the Jets, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they'll fall back to 500 at two and two. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Jets as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.